Look who the cat dragged in. Okay, okay. Hey! How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Boss, Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of a living here. Mrs. Adler, we. Oh, you. Yes. Yes. To Mrs. Adler. Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. I have a plan. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail. Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. (laughs) We buried Jose a Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf of Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government... And the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth... Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Oh, my God. Get down! Once again... Everyone you can find, did you, Bill? This is real bad. Stay down, Ollie. Let's go. Let's go. Follow. I think that's Miss Adler right there. Oh, jeez. Let's go. Everyone crawl. Yep, that was Miss Adler. She's basically the new leader, I guess you could say, or at least was the temporary leader. During all that. Island business we were doing. Now, what do I have on me? Uh, Schofield. This way! There's a trap door into the other house! We can try to flank them! Nice. Let's see if we can do that from there. Hide behind this here cliff. Go through this black bell trap door. Come on, follow me. Go up. Okay, take the other side. You mistook it for Why weakness. Why the Now I will show strength, and you may mistake it for brutality. There is no escape for any of you. I shall hunt you to the ends of the earth and the end of time. This I've killed your friends. Really start to irritate me. Oh my god. It already had the, uh, oh my god. Fatal region highlights. Nice. It immediately, uh, put me into heckin' dead eye and I just immediately disabled it. Jeez. Alright. I want Okay, let's go! Get this guy to the left. Oh my god, I'm trying to mark these guys from a distance. I don't know what gun I'm using, but it's pretty good. Not better than what we had on those islands, I'll tell you that much. That guy in the head, nice. I'm gonna go take his gun, that Gatling gun. Can I use this? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> Where in the world? I can't. I cannot see in the distance. I am not. A, I'm just gonna spray haters. Shooting lanterns, making explosions. Okay, I might just exit this because I cannot see a thing out there. Carbine repeaters. Might as well reload while we're in. Oh, no, yeah, we're good. I literally don't see a thing out there. Where in the world is anyone at? I don't see anyone. Just pure black darkness. Oh my god. There's one to- oh, that, yeah, the- oh wait, no, there's another one to the left. Behind us. Oh my god, I 
can't see a thing. I don't even see that. That's pure pitch black. Oh, there we go. Got that one. Holy. I was just on that Gatling gun. Couldn't see a thing out here. I still can't see a thing. <laughs> There's another one around that. There we go. Got him. Alright, I guess I'm going to the Gatling gun, huh? Let's go. I'm getting on it right now. Of course, I've got to get to it. Yep. Let's use. There we go. Oh my god. Well, at least now I can actually see him. That's good. Holy! Slicing him in half. I'm swinging this around. More coming this way, Arthur. Just trying to get. Oh my God! There are Pinkertons everywhere. There we go. Oh! Took that guy's arm out. Sheesh. Arthur. Oh man, Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now! Please, gentlemen. Sure. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean, so we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss I. Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him and break my the boy's heart. Please do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. Now? Yes, now. Give me at Doyle's Tavern on Million Avenue. Okay. Doyle's Tavern. Hmm. Man, I hate these bits where it's like at night and it's foggy as butt. Can't see anything, sheesh. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. Whole thing has been hard on all of us. But most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we gone through. Well, oh man. Charles has a new haircut. Oh man, we got silver on that. How's that happen? What in the world? I guess we'll learn. Let's see. You got a literal bullet hole in my... Oh, what in the world is that? Oh, that's a... Uh, ha or not Javier, sheesh. Charles in the thing. He's got like a big old ponytail thing. Fleeting joy. Arthur's reunited with the gang at Lake Lakay. I think it was called Lakay. Five headshots with a Gatling gun. Yeah, I was just... I was just spraying for center mass with that thing, sheesh. Especially with a gun like that. You might as well heck and spray and pray, right? Get at least 70% accuracy with a Gatling gun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I... My initial bit with the Gatling gun probably ruined that because I shot at literally nothing during that bit. But there's a bullet hole in my hat right there. God. Guess I have to get another one. Anyways, we do have another horse over here. That was a horse that we rode on, so... Thankfully, it looks like we have our main horse back, so that's good. Brush this one. Yep. It seems things have settled down, and... We're gonna, once again, gonna need to move to yet another area, because, of course, Pinkerton's found us here. Yep. I'm back, girl. I'm back. I need to get myself a shave and a haircut. So I'm getting nasty looking. Still Pinkerton blood over here. Ugh. Makes me want to vomit. Yep. Ugh. Look at this place. I wonder if we could find Jose as a grave and just kind of, you know, press F if you know what I mean. Pay some respects. Well, hopefully, uh, good old Lenny got himself a proper burial as well. If they were able to find his body. I'm like, he died on the roof, so there's Micah right there. Died on the roof, so who knows what happened to his body. If someone's just like, oh, there's a random dead body on this roof. 
Or if the police knew, oh yeah, that was one of them. He was a young guy, but he was a part of the group. He's one of them, just throw him in a heckin' swamp. Hopefully he got a proper burial as well, because that was a pretty good kid, just like Arthur said. Young. Kind of, uh, you know, kind of rough. But he was young and didn't really know much. But, you know, with the wagon job, you know, stealing that, uh, wagon with the U.S. Marshals and stuff, you know, uh, ignorant of things that could have happened, but he was young and he didn't know any better, but eventually he did, but unfortunately he, he also died young, so can we get a proper F in the chat for Lenny? And of course, looks like some of the members here have given an F in the chat for Hosea with his proper burial, but I feel like Lenny might be forgotten, so can we get an F in the chat for Lenny? The co-star of one of the funniest bits from earlier in the game with a heckin' drinking bit with Lenny. <laughs> Anyways, enough reminiscing about everyone here. Let's see where we have to go for the Sadie Adler bit. Yep. And I guess over here is some sort of area as well. I wonder if that's the jail that they're talking about. They're like, oh, they're probably going to take him to blah, blah, blah. I forgot the name of it, but that's probably it right there, honestly. Anyways, Sadie Adler. Yep. Sadie asked you to something. Asked you to meet her at Doyle's Tavern to work out how to rescue John, yep. Guess we're gonna go down there, uh... Uh, we're about... Um... I'd say we're a little bit closer to saint -Denis now than we were earlier. I guess we're still in Chapter 5. I guess that island bit wasn't all she wrote for that, huh? Oh, there's Javier right there. Let's see what he's up to. See what he's... His legs gotten any better? Uh, let's see what the day brings. Glad to be home? I almost wish we were back in Guarma. Mm hmm I know. Yep. Well, how am I doing gun? Oh, yeah, I can't check it while I'm in the base. Yep. But I guess we'll check here in a bit. We get all our guns back once we go to the horse, because that thing's carrying who knows how many pounds worth of heckin' guns, son. Anyways. You, girl? Yep, it's been a while, but... Yep. Well, we're back. That was some coming home party. Mm -hmm. We need to get out of here. I'll speak to Dutch. Did we did we kill that Milton guy during that shootout? I feel like there's no way he would have heckin' survived that. But who knows, he might have. Are we going to get another visit from him again once we get to the new base? Because I feel like, this, like they said earlier, they're, they're wanting to leave already. But uh, anyways, kind of want to check what guns we have now that we're out of there. So yeah, we went to the Volcanic Pistol because we had that on Guarma. But, oh, jeez, I wanna... I don't know, I kinda put the fire bottle there just for convenience. <laughs> and then let's move on over to the Lancaster Repeater and, of course, old reliable uh, semi-auto shotgun. Almost said pump action, but nope. Anyways, let's head to town. We're in the same old outfit we've been wearing <laughs> for this whole entire San Denis chapter, I guess you could call it. Oh, jeez, who are those people? Hopefully they're not gonna recognize me and be like, oh, it's them, it's that, it's the guy. Hey, partner! Oh, I know horses, bro. Did he just say he knows that guy? Hey, mister. No, I don't think so. I think I think we're fine. <laughs> I think we're fine. I don't think we have a bounty here, do we? Yep, we're completely fine. And we're doing pretty well on honor, too, so that's great. All right, $3,500. Looks like I got my money back. That's good. I guess... I, I, I don't think we got any money from, like, either Guarma or the actual bank heist itself, because, of course, it's all at the heckin' bottom of the sea and or given to that dead woman on the island, which... Hopefully Dutch got the gold ingot back, or gold bar, whatever that is, I don't know which one it is. Either way, the saloon we're heading to is like right up here, so let's go see what's say. Oh, jeez, can I not talk to her anymore? It's gone. Oh, wait, what happened? What happened? Am I going to hit? Oh, I'm going to get hit. I'm dead. Oh, jeez, I'm going to pass out right in the middle of this thing. <laughs> yeah, I've been noticing Arthur's... Co oh, my God, it's the, it's the guy. It's the Gavin guy. I've been noticing his cough has been slowly getting worse and worse over time. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? 
Mister, you, you don't look so good. <coughs> Let's get you to a doctor. Uh oh. We all know what happened last time we're at the doctor. He's going to immediately cut my head off. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh my god, I'm coughing I'll blood. Be fine in a minute. There. I'm fine. Uh oh, I'm gonna pass out again, or nearly oh. there, just around this corner. Oh yep, this is the doctor right here, right? Now you head in there, friend. Go on. A fork in the road. Well, you certainly stand out dressed like that. Can I help you? Doc, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. God, that guy's covered in blood. Sheesh. Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? Of course I've got money. I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now... What's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Well, there you go, guys. Big revelation there. You saw that coffin, it makes sense. I, I think I even said it earlier in the series somewhere. I was like, yeah, it, it's, it's that time tuberculosis was like spreading hardcore. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. And looks like Arthur caught it. As, I guess that's why he's been coughing progressively throughout the series, slowly getting worse and worse until, you know, what happened on the tram tracks earlier. You have it in you, I can tell. Oh, that was Brother Dorkins. Am I going to go see Sadie? He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. That was Mr. Downs. Mrs. Downs. Yeah, that was Mrs. Downs. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But... I think of you often. That was... Mary. What in the world? There's a book. That's the...
the buck we've been seeing throughout the entire series. Right? Hold on. It is gone. Okay, that was very strange. Well, we're probably only have so much time left to live, you guys. Might as well go see if we can do something good and get John out of jail for sake of Jack, at least. Ah, well. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um, Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. That's good. Follow me. They, uh... They bury Sean? Properly? I don't remember if they ever uh, brought that up. Hey there, mister. Get out of the way. Well, let's follow Adler. Shady Adler. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. What? <laughs> you ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Perrin's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson... Well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. What? So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. That's nothing. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sadie Adler. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Bullard? Ah, Mrs. Adler! It's good to see you. Good is that the guy from you. up? Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well. It's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. <laughs> I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above! Or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. <clears throat> Pull on that rope. Oh. And hope for the best. Ah. 
All right. You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. My, my, do I have the vapors? Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Ugh. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Oh my god, here we are already at the clouds. Halfway on that ascension thing on the bottom right. All right then, let's break through these clouds. <laughs> now, I'm no hot air balloon specialist, but I don't know how high these get things go, but sheesh. My god. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. All right. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Give us some more hot air. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Sheesh, is that it up there? You see that behind the clouds? Oh, well, you can't see it anymore. Now, that is where we are heading, right? Arthur and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Oh my golly. Wow, look at that. The whole landscape. Look raw. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. <laughs> I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Yeah, that... Hold on, can I look at the, uh... I can. Yep, mm hmm Just my, just, those are my suspicions confirmed. That is the jail, uh, over there. An island, they said it was, so. Man, there's Lakay. I don't know where we just were, but sheesh. Guess we're gonna keep on ascending. I, I can't control anything besides the ascension of the hot air balloon. So, I'm just, I'm just getting carried by the winds here, by the way. <laughs> I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? <laughs> I did not, Mr. Bullard. Might want to keep that ascend thing about where that little line is. It's probably where it wants me to keep it. Just turn red, I guess we got a little too high. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Whoa. We shouldn't fly too near to it though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? Oh, I think I see it now. God's are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. 
A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. <laughs> well, speaking of fields, seems like we've come across them fields I was just talking about. Oh, I think I see some folk. Yep. Uh-oh. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. And take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. Search the shields. Fields of her John. Just to control, you know. Seeing guards. Please hurry. That ain't John. On this field. Is that him? Long black hair. Oh, is that him? Looks like him. It's hard to tell, though. Yep. Yep, that's him. Uh oh, what the? My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! Uh oh. See that? Ascend! Ascend! Oh! Didn't I tell you this would happen? No, you didn't, sir. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> Look at that can shot. Did that guy get hit? It looks like he's got a bullet hole in his shoulder. Is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. <laughs> I keep getting hit. God, I'm shaking like a leaf. God, he got hit again. Alright, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. You can get up. Good lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> yep. Well, we got what was need to be done done. Oh, there's the lighthouse of the uh, trading post that we landed at. Ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good lord! Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased! <laughs> yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. Uh-oh. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Guess I'll talk to Scope. Yep, that's Miss Adler, alright. Sadie! Up here! You're just in time! Oh, right in the... Oh, I almost got him in the head. Got him right in the shoulder. Mrs. Adler has a lot for answer for. Yes, she does. Uh, Today! That one just fell. <laughs> that one fell. Oh, wait, no, he's dead. He's dead. That's why he fell. <laughs> Man, I'm doing pretty well right now. I'm like, it is 90% auto aim, but still. <laughs> Seems like we cleared him. Oh, wait. I, I guess that was a death rattle. Most oh. excitement I've had in years. <laughs> You're saying running a hot air balloon is not exciting? Because I'd say so. This Adler's doing. Oh, oh, ahead? Oh, yep, 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 yep. I'm trying. One more. Whoa! Really good hot shots here. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Cut that out of the video. I think I might need to adjust my feet. See if I hit him with the dead eyes. A little overkill on that second one, but whatever. <laughs> She's got the same idea as me. Always taking the railroad. Oh, I'm hearing more of them. Oh my god. Oh. No, no! I'm like, he was shot earlier, but no! Shading. Was that a rope? Yep. Grab the rope, come on! Grab the rope! Now that is. No one's gonna recognize you when I'm done. Used a rope to pick up Shady. Look out! There's a bridge up ahead! Gotta wanna make sure I can clear the bridge. Come down and get you on the other side. Now, can we get an F in the chat for Mr. Bullard? You're too high! Well, I had to clear the bridge there, Sadie. Lower! I can't reach it! Alright, hold it there, Arthur! Oh, 
Oh, wow. Let's get out of here. Come on, pull on it, Arthur. Bring her up. Grab the roof. Arthur, hurry! Yep, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Bring her up, Arthur. Yep, she's almost there. Almost. Yep, there we go. I think we're going to crash. Uh oh. We have a real habit of seeing the obvious, Arthur. <laughs> You break your neck? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. Yep. These god. Gosh darn, Odriscoll. Odriscoll's. Got these guys marked from afar. There's more air on the left. I might be able to mark with the remaining ammunition. There we go. Marking each and every one of these failures. Make sure we take them all out from a distance. Must have missed one on the... Oh, yep. There's one on the right I didn't get. Whoops. Hopefully Idler, Shady Idler, can take him out. And not on a date. She's a widow, after all. Sons of guns. Gotta make sure we don't get demonetized. Reloading. There we go. Another one there. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, she should be able to cover the. Oh, well, never mind. That's all of them. I know, that's what I'm saying. Adler. Say the Adler. Oh, there's another one there to the right. Nope. Seriously, how many heckin' O'Driscolls are there? Like, we've killed thousands of them in this game by now. Like, sheesh. Oh, there's one to the right I should probably mark. Let's see if we can get him, though. Nah. Ran out, did I? We can get him, though. Oh, Adler's probably. Oh, man, did she get hit right there? Sheesh. Got him. One more. Oh. You can tell Cole he's next. Tell me about it. Yeah, I can. Oh, there's more of them back there. You boys are a ah. goddamn joke! I need to eat some heckin' some to get more dead eyes. Ah, I ate the wrong thing. That should be good. Oh, oh my god. Moving all over the place. I can't mark that. There you go. I got that guy. The guy right here is the right. Trying to hurry up. I'm gonna run out dead. I'm probably hitting the rocks. No, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I hit the rock every single time right there. <laughs> okay, well, might want to go too. Oh, yeah, I don't have anything else. Bolt action rifle is all I got. Get these sons of bitches! Let's move ahead, I guess. She's charging right in, ambushing him. Got that one down. Finish. That one's out in the open. I feel just. Oh, man. Oh! Got him right under the armpit. Only a few of them left! Right there, point blank. Oh, jeez, what in the world? Was I trying to heck and take that guy down? I think so. All right, well, let's see if we can mark these fellers here. That guy just got taken out. That's good. There we go. That should be good. Oh, wait, what? How many O'Driscolls are there? Golly! Cowards! Yeah, you run! I'll catch up with you soon enough! I don't see him running. I think they're all dead. Katie Adler is a little more fierce than I remember. What the hell is wrong with you? I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're going to hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. <laughs> sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. 
And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Master! You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. Mm. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. She's got a point. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Hey, my horse is here, too. Well, we got tons of Driscoll's here. See how we did on Icarus and Friends. That was a pretty fun mission, though. <laughs> Five headshots from the balloon. I, I probably could have done that, because the auto-aim on that one was really good. Accuracy with at least... Or at least 70% accuracy. Keep the balloon at the correct altitude for the entire journey. Yeah, I probably could have done that, but I was just kind of like, oh, I wonder what happened if I kept going. Well, anyways, we've got like a dozen of Driscoll's here we need to loot. Like, seriously, like, there's like 20 of us here. For the heckin', uh, oh, Hummingbird Sage. That might be, that might be worth picking up, just, because I have no idea whether or not, uh, is that one? Oh, I guess we already looted that one then, huh? Just because I don't know if we need that for that one guy. You guys remember back at San Denis, there's like this one guy that wants a bunch of, I don't think so. I'm like, we do have the list. That guy that looked like he, he was hanging out in a greenhouse, pick an examine plant. I don't know what this is, but... There we go. What is it? Wild ca- Hey! I got me some carrots! <laughs> it's like I'm a bunny rabbit out here. Well, I may end up just pausing the recording. And, uh... Man, I haven't paused the recording in quite a while, sheesh. But I may just pause the recording and... Loot all these Driscoll's and I'll see you guys back at- I don't know, probably back at camp. Where, uh, Dutch is, or... Copper, copper, wherever to meet up with Sadie. Probably can't do that just yet. Yeah, unless it's up here near the train, but nah, I don't think so. But we do have mail at the train. Oh, what is that? Stranger? Yeah, stranger. What does that say? Usually it shows us. Why is it not showing? Willard's Rest. Yeah, it usually tells us a little thing on the left side. Whatever we uh, have a stranger, but for some reason it's not showing. Temporary horse. Post office stranger. That doesn't say anything. Whittler's Rest, Roanoke Ridge. For some reason, it's not saying anything about this. Then again, it is a stranger, so it's not like I know, but at the same time, I'm quite curious about it. You guys all know the drill. Whenever we have, like, a uh, stranger or temporary missions that might be time-sensitive that might not be there if I don't end up doing them, you know? I might, I might end up going up there. I may end up pausing the recording. That's right. You heard it here first. <laughs> and then I uh, loot all the Driscolls, and then I'll see you guys north and see what that guy wants. I don't know how in the world I'm s I know about him, but whatever. I guess we'll go up there and see what's happening. So, what about the recording now? See you guys up north and see what that stranger's all about.